Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video on how to um, size uh, rigid tubing uh, fittings um, and also how to identify like the composition of them. Um, so we're going to do a couple examples on that. Um, the cool thing about rigid tubing is the fittings is most of the time when you're looking for a fitting, you can take the fitting that you're trying to replace and hold it uh, up to a either a shadow board or a, um, a parts book and try and find one that looks the same. I'll give you some examples. You know, in, in this one, we have um, a union, a T fitting, an elbow. Um, one of the ones we're going to be using in our shop project is a sleeve AN 819. Uh, so that's just some examples of the, the fittings. So once you know that what once you take your fitting that you're trying to replace or repair or, or order and you know what it looks like, you now have the base part number. So let's say and I'm going to use an example of the AN815. Let's say you're trying to replace this AN815. Maybe it's cross thread or the threads are damaged. So now that you know that it's an AN815, the, now all you need to know is what is it made out of and what size tube fits on it. Because that's all it takes to size rigid tubing or uh, rigid tubing fittings. So, for example, once I know that I'm looking for this union, AN815, now I need to know uh, what size is tubing does it fit on. So, I'm going to use an example down here on my sheet of paper. So, let's say I have an AN815-6D. The AN815 tells us what type of fitting it is, and we just looked that up. That's a union. The six relates to what size line does it fit on? And if it's on a dash six tube or six sixteenths or three eighths tube. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the composition letter. Um, so you can actually tell what that that uh, fitting is manufactured from by this letter. So if you look at the top of this, it'll talk about here. If a part is made out of aluminum alloy, it'll have a D. If a part is made out of steel, it'll have um, no letters whatsoever. So I wanted to show you that side by side. So for example, if you had an AN815, that's the union. The dash six tells us if it's on a three eighths tube and the D tells us it's aluminum alloy. So what that means is being that it's an aluminum alloy tube, it's gonna be a blue colored fitting because uh, aviation fittings are color coded to let us know what their composition is. So if I had the exact same fitting, but it was made out of steel, it would still be the same base part number, AN815. It would be a dash six because it still fits on a three eighths tube, but it wouldn't have the D because the absence of that D tells us it's made out of steel. Okay, so that's just an example there. We'll try one more. It's an AN 819-8D. The reason I chose that part is that's yet another part, or that's a part we're going to use in project number one, two, and three. That's called a sleeve. So AN 819 tells us to sleeve. We can tell that by looking at right here. It's an AN 819 that was identified as a sleeve. Okay, now because it's a dash eight, that's telling us it fits on a eight sixteenths or a half inch line. And then the D would tell us the composition code is aluminum alloy. If I just took that D away, it would be the exact same part, but it would now be black in color because the steel fittings are black and it would still be an identical size, identical look. It would just be black in color. Okay, so I just wanted to go really quickly on the over how to, um, to size fittings because there's going to be some questions about that on both the um, the uh, unit exam and, and the tests and quizzes and things like that. So I just wanted to make sure I cover that. Okay, you guys, stay safe. Wash those hands.